off that real quick, let's put up the brake rotor heat chart. Oh, sure. So we recently did some testing on our 8YS3 in-house. And um, yeah, we've done... I don't know how visible this is going to be. I'm yeah, it's, it's pretty small. It's... Um, we This is the first time we're showing you guys any of these numbers. But this is the kind of testing we do to validate that our brake rotors work. Um, and basically, you don't, you, you don't even have to see it. I, I, I can just tell you. So uh, just... Uh, remind me that the top line is temps, right? <laughs> Hold on, I can open it up here. What, one's uh, temps and one's stopping distance. Let me get you a bigger image. Er, yeah, bottom axis is stopping distance. Okay, so let's talk about the, the, the stopping distance. So if you look at the, the lower two lines, the, the dotted lines are factory brake rotors, and the lower two lines are 034 brake rotors. Um, now we did 10, this is 10. 14, 60 to 0. 14 consecutive 60 to zero stops. So you can see the heat, uh, the effect of the heat build up slowly as the distances increase, but you can see the stopping distance improvements just from putting our rotors on. Uh, and you can see a marked increase in consistency because both left and right rotors are, uh, are both the same temperature, the same low temperature, and one side isn't overheating over the other. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, uh, when, you know, you're not. Okay. You're not. Once we come back, I'll show you the, the veining. It's something we talk about a lot. The top line is temperature. And so uh, th this one is really telling. Look at the consistency of the 034 rotors. Not only are temps lower because the rotors are dealing with the heat better, um, but the lines are on top of each other. I mean, literally, for all practical purposes, they're on top of each other. Now, the stock brake rotors, you can see the effect of the one side having the reverse veining. The one brake rotor just continues to heat up more and more throughout the run. Um, so th this is all just from changing the rotors. I mean, it's just dramatic, you know, improvements. So, you know, that, that's, that's, that's why we do these. That's the effect. That, that chart will be on, on that product page. So you'll, you'll be able to see that there. Um, but this is what I'm talking about. Just look at the stopping distances. If I had... No, that's just, that's just temps. Oh, wait. I thought we had stopping distances no. too. Okay. So what's, what was the bottom line? The bottom line is rear rotor. Oh, those, sorry. Okay. Those yeah. were rear. I thought you said it was the stopping distance. So anyways, yeah. It's, it's front and rear rotors, but you can see the, you can see the effect of, of temps on those. Yeah. Um, there are improvements in stopping distance too. We should, we should do a chart about that. Um. All right. If you, anyone has any questions about that, you can see oh. the, you can see the vein differences yeah. too here. This is the OEM set. So th these are the OEM rotors, and you can see if you can see these are both going the same way. You can see on our rotors they're going the opposite. So just visually, you can see the difference, and that's that's the the fact that uh, we have left and right rotors, and the factory. I think it's just two lefts, right? I believe it's, it's it's whatever one side oh, is used to look. Yeah. yeah, I think it's two left. Well, I think the left side is correct. The right side is is a left side. So the air on the right side is getting sucked from the outside to the inside of the hub, and it's just the air has not, not, not the way it should be going. Right. 